Who are you? I'm Spencer Ingram. I'm the founder of Sevo Bike Lab, and that's where we are here today. Uh, Sevo Bike Lab is a full-service bike shop supporting the effort to do uh, design build projects in the community for bicyclists, uh, maybe deal with infrastructure issues like racks. Uh, we do a lot of events for the urban rider. Mm -hmm. We do classes and courses pertaining to mechanics or traffic skills and safety through League of American uh, Bicyclist Instructor courses. We also uh, work closely with uh, advocacy groups to help leverage the, the strength of a bike shop to uh, help improve the, the bicycling community. And it's a very selfish effort um, on my part. It's, I've lived here for a number of years and this is the kind of city that I want to stay in and, and ride my bike in. So uh, I said, let's just roll up our sleeves and see what we can do. You know, this is a, a very hacker type space. Um, we set out to build the city that we want to ride in and, and that we want to continue to, to develop as a place for people to move as bicyclists and, and live in the denser parts of the city. How long have I been in Charlottesville? It's been nine years. And as far as an increase in ridership, um, anecdotally, yes. Uh, we have a long way to go, but we've got the strength of great groups and uh, persons in the city, both uh, from the, the governance side and the advocacy side, and then other shops and clubs and organizations who um, put in an immeasurable amount of effort to improve the ridership from both the race and the uh, social uh, ridership in, in Charlottesville. So bike sharing in Charlottesville, uh, we have a project on the, on the board to um, produce a, a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform. So you could list your bicycle, the shop can list bicycles, and uh, you can rent them for your designated price and this uh, system, the, the beauty of it is it's, it's very low cost to, to launch and the, and the stock is held with the community so that hopefully when you have um, a lending opportunity, someone, your friend visits for the week or um, you know, your, your current bicycle is broken down, mm -hmm. uh, you can grab a bicycle and you have this interaction with a member of the community you know, who is a bicyclist and I think that interaction-based part of uh, bicycling is how we're going to strengthen the community and, and have this, this sharing platform. We get asked a lot if we just have bikes for a week or two. Um, and that's something we want to be able to promote. So you can think of bike peer-to-peer -peer lending like Airbnb for your apartment or house or Uber ride where people are lending cars to one another in the same fashion. It will be launched in New York and Boston, I believe. Uh, it is a separate company uh, we track down and these guys are working hard to, like us, uh, to put in the belief that you, know, you can really um, do some good for bicycling in cities and just bite off little pieces at a time and this is one of those ways of doing that. We would like to get uh, upwards of 20 people, 20 bicycles just to get started and start sharing this space but again going back to the, one of the strengths of this platform is it's greatly scalable. You can rent 20 bicycles a week but have a stock of 100. Right. You know, and then you have a festival downtown and the festival can say, you know, real, enjoy this on a bicycle and, and connect with the other members of the community who are also there on their bicycles. Um, it lends itself well to the entrepreneur. Uh, mm -hmm. Go fix five bicycles and put them on a rack somewhere and you know, indicate where you, can, where you can rent those. You know, start building that bike share from the ground up. Well, Bike Lab won't be able to stay here forever as this area will get developed. Um, so we're looking at alternatives and, and how we define the interaction space that we've created here, uh, not only as a, as a full service and traditional shop, but as a way to look at, look at how we interact with bike culture differently. You know, maybe there's a, the bike shop as a component of another um, establishment. You know, you're there for um, other interactions, but the bikes are part of the flavor of that space. So we're looking at those opportunities, you know, as we create something around the culture of bicycling right. and not just the transaction. Thank you.